Hello rhinos. Today we're going to ask that question. Is cauliflower good for diabetics? And also, how to make cauliflower mash. Let's get into it. Why am I qualified to talk about this? Well, my name is John Collett. And in March 2018, I got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and within six months I managed to put my condition into remission and I want to help you do the same. So is cauliflower good for type 2 diabetics and how to make cauliflower mash? I think we all know the answer because I'm going to do a cooking video on it. Let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so let's get into making cauliflower mash starting off. I'm gonna get it started and I'll talk about the benefits of cauliflower later. So what we wanna do is strip these sections off and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the cauliflower into quarters and then we're gonna break down the florets off of there. So while I'm doing that, let's talk about all things about the wonderful world of cauliflower. So cauliflower for me is one of the best veggies you can have as a type two diabetic. So if we talk about its protein benefits, basically a cauliflower is a vegetable, a low calorie, calorie nutrient dense uh, veggie within, which is a member of the mustard family. So there you are. So for those people who are interested in that type of stuff, then you've got that. And, um, and then, it has more protein than most other veggies that you can have. Now, one cup of cauliflower has only about 25 calories, 48 milligrams of vitamin C, which is really good. It's half of what you need in a day. Calcium K, uh, two grams of fiber for every 100 grams of cauliflower. Now, I recommend according to the videos anyway <laughs> you cut these into quarters to begin with okay now also now apparently for, for every one cup of cauliflower you get 207 milligrams of omega-3 you normally get that from fish you can you get that from cauliflower and it's recommended that we eat 250 to 500 grams of omega-3 in a day. So that's quite a big chunk of that. So now we're just gonna take these down into small florets so that they're gonna be a evenly, evenly, um, even sized so that when we, they'll cook evenly when we uh, boil them in a second, okay? Um, it also contains sulfur, nitrogen, <laughs> glucosin isolates, which are great for fighting cancer, apparently. Probably told it really wrong. But for me, where cauliflower rice, cauliflower is super, super cool. It's in its, its versatility in all the other things that you can make with it. So, you know, <laughs> I use it as cauliflower rice. We just chop it down, sort of grate it. Um, we also use it with as a pizza base. And I'm gonna put a video up here on how to make cauliflower pizza bases. I eat that on a regular basis. But today, as I say, we're gonna concentrate on cauliflower mash. Now, I've not made this before, me personally. So, you know expect all the fun that normally comes along with these videos with my wife telling me not what to do so we're gonna cut so yeah so for me cauliflower is by far the best uh, vegetable for its versatility a uh, nutrient base you, you know you're probably still talking broccoli really um but um but as far as what you can do with cauliflower and because your main objective is to swap swap what you're doing, swap in other stuff. So rice with cauliflower rice, you know, this is a great alternative instead of mashed potatoes in your food. So now we've done that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil the water 
I'm going to stick this in a pan. So there we are, that's boiling, the water's boiling now, so what we're just going to add the florets into there. And we're going to let that, we're going to put the lid on and we're going to let that boil for six to seven minutes. Right then guys, so what I've done is now I've drained the cauliflower because cauliflower holds a lot of water. How you know it's done is you end up put a fork in it and it's meant to fall off the fork like that. Took a long time. So <laughs> I also recommend then that you stick it on tea towel, on a kitchen towel and drain it and tap it down some more just to get the water, damp off as much of the water as possible. I see, like I'm an expert. <laughs> but you know the whole point of this is that you can see. See that? Magic. I forgot where I left the saucepan. <laughs> so put that those in there. I'm not gonna pick it up because we know the paper's gonna break. And as much as it's fun making me look making me look like an idiot, you got the saucepan thing today, so you know. So I'm gonna put that in there. Okay, so that's that. So now there's some things you can do now to add to the taste for yourself, okay? So you can put as you can you can gather, you can put some pepper in there, you can put some salt in there, all for taste. And then if you wish, you can put some thyme in, some herbs, or herbs for my American friends, <laughs> sage. Yet again, you can just experiment with different ones. I don't think there's a right or wrong with what you can do. And then I see some people, they put in garlic cloves, so we've got this easy garlic. And so one tablespoon, two teaspoon of this is like this equivalent to a clove of garlic. Interesting smell. <laughs> and you can put some virgin olive oil in there. Now the other thing that we're gonna be putting in there today, which we don't normally put in, is nutritional yeast flakes. So this has got loads of B12, other good vitamins, fiber in there, protein in there, all of these things which are good as a type two diabetic. You wanna put a tablespoon of that in there. So we're gonna see how that goes. And then what we're gonna do is gonna mash it up. Now I'm gonna use a masher. Some people use a blender or you can put some butter in here as well, which I might do now, depending on how creamy it gets. And, um, but if you're gonna use a blender, you gotta be careful you don't turn it into a puree. So I'm gonna do it this way. I'll see you in a second. There you are then guys. So this is the cauliflower mash. Let's give it a go. Mmm. Mmm, that's nice. Gotta say, there's a lot more taste to it than cauliflower rice. Cauliflower rice, you have to stick things on top of it, do you know, to make it, so because it doesn't taste of anything. But this, with the, and you know, you can you can experiment with all the different ingredients and stuff and things like that. No, in my view, when it comes to cauliflower and fighting type two diabetes, what you should actually do is get an idol of cauliflower, stick it in your in your house somewhere, and just pray to it on a regular basis. Because by far, it's the biggest thing I've had for helping me get rid of my type 2 diabetes. It's an amazing vegetable and so versatile with everything it does. Now, if you want to get a list of foods, of type of foods that type 2 diabetics can eat, click on the description below. Click, that'll take you to a website. Put your name and email address in there and I'll send you a, uh, a, a list of all the foods that you can eat as a type 2 diabetic. And I'm going to stick 
a list of videos here all about food and type 2 diabetes. Remember, you're not a number, you're a rhino. Now charge.